Impossible levels are a staple of many games, creators trying to push the limits of what's humanly possible and what could be theoretically achieved. But what happens when something made to be impossible is humanly attempted and completed, and then pushed to its own limits? And how can this relate to Geometry Dash? Well, exploring this concept, this is the story of the infamous eight jumps of hell and the players that conquered them. The story all begins with Silent Club Step by Salian, a level made back in 2014 that you are very likely familiar with. As with most other extreme levels back then, it was verified illegitimately. When it was first released, it was seen as a monument of impossibility, and it was believed that not even a single part would ever be humanly completable. After the best players of the time played Silent Club Step with hundreds of attempts in practice mode and considered it impossible, it destroyed for now the optimistic dream that this level could be slain, and the community decided to, for now, let the level rest and hold on to the dream that one day, this level could possibly be beaten. Fast forward 5 years to early 2019. By this point, the hardest legitimately beaten demon had improved from Primary Maze to Zodiac, and the playing community had been exponentially improving with Hertz Revolutions and new top players. Throughout this consistent pushing of the modern skill ceiling, a determined few with history in the community had memories of the old impossible levels of days past, and continued to hold on to ideals that they could somehow be beaten one day. Silent Club Step was one of these levels, and top players had managed to complete some of the easier parts around this early era of 2019. Players were starting to get a grasp on the balancing of it, with most people beginning to immediately recognize that the mini cube part from 71% to 76% was seemingly the hardest part of the level. How is this part, which is only 8 jumps, so ridiculously difficult? Well, in 2019, most top players were using 144Hz monitors, and on 144Hz, almost every single jump in the part was a frame perfect. Even the players with 240Hz monitors had trouble, as many of the jumps were even harder frame perfects on a higher refresh rate. Every jump that wasn't a frame perfect only had a 2 frame timing window, making every single one of these 8 jumps incredibly difficult. Soon, this mini cube part would receive a bold nickname due to its infamy, becoming known as the 8 jumps of hell. With the amount of precision needed to perform even a single frame perfect timing, who would even consider trying to beat a level that required you to do several in a row? Some incredibly skilled players decided to give it a shot after doing several other difficult parts of the level to prove that the once impossible could at least be attempted. There was no way for them to know what they were getting themselves into. After months of waiting through painful and grindy attempts, in early May of 2019, players Ice Gave and Septagon 7 both had significant progress on the mini cube part. They were seriously giving it their all, with both of them having poured thousands of attempts in and having multiple fails at the 7th or 8th jump. The infamous 8 jumps of hell could be verified any day now. However, things would quickly take an unexpected turn. I did it! I fucking did it! I did it! <laughs> On July 8th, 2019, players Septagon7, Skyjax, and AzaFTW were in a call, with them all practicing the minicube. AzaFTW, a player who had not practiced the part before, decided to make the part into a short challenge level in case he beat it first. And, incredibly, after a sudden and shocking burst of consistency, Aza passed all 8 jumps and became the first person known to beat 8 jumps of hell, seemingly out of nowhere. After 5 years, this infamous part had finally been passed. Except, maybe not. Some players began to notice something off about his completion of the challenge. At the beginning, there is more space before the spikes, allowing an extra jump at the start. Why is this important? There is a game mechanic in Geometry Dash, which makes holding from a previous jump slightly higher than normal jump. Because Aza holds into the first jump, it gives more room for the timing window. Due to this, some players consider Aza's challenge not the real 8 jumps of hell, since he only does the last 7 jumps as intended. In the original part, the spikes are too close to the cube's starting position, which disallows an extra jump needed to cheese the part. This controversy was a big deal to a few players who had spent weeks or even months trying to beat the part in the original level, and they were disappointed when someone who took less time did it first by cheesing the first jump. But, unknown to others at the time, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Icecape had already done the 8 jumps in a run from 71 to 92 on Silent Club Step 4 days earlier to this. He did not upload his progress until 2 days after Aza had verified 8 jumps of hell, because he was waiting until he finished the run to 100%, as he had multiple failures past the 8 jumps. The next day, however, Icecape was able to do the 8 jumps of hell in a run from the actual level from 71. After failing at the ship another 2 times, on May 10th, 2019, Icecape became the first person to ever do 7100 on Silent Club Step. Similarly to Aza FTW uploading 8 jumps of hell, Ice Cave uploaded this run as a challenge level called SC World Record. After several months, this level was placed in the challenge list at number 5, before being moved down to number 22 by the list mod Bow due to cube timings being underrated at the time. Upon being moved down unfairly without Bow even having played the level, Ice Cave decided to delete the challenge from the servers out of spite. It remains deleted to this day. In these months of 2019, the 8 jumps of hell had received two victors only two days apart, but this would be the last victors the community would see for a while. To find our next victor, we need to jump ahead nine months in the future. 
On April 22nd, 2020, the player Error did a run of 67 to 100 on Silent Club Step. However, this is not considered a legitimate run for the 8 Gems of Hell due to the way this run was executed. There is a little known skip that requires only 3 of the frame perfects instead of all 8 jumps, but most of the players attempting the part decided not to use it. Error, on the other hand, did use it to become technically the third to do this run. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. A month later, on May 14th, 2020, Septagon 7 became the third ever person to pull off the 8 Gems of Hell, doing a run from 70 to 95 on Silent Club Step. However, there is one major difference in this run compared to the first two victors. Both Azza FTW and Ice Cave played versions of the part without using the Mirror Portal that is placed just before it. The Mirror Portal plays a major role in the difficulty of it, with not only making the first jump a completely blind timing, but making the other jumps have a different perspective and seemingly harder to gain consistency on. Almost everyone who had made progress on the part had a far easier time playing after the Mirror Portal instead of starting before it, and it made a big difference in the difficulty of the part. Septagon 7's run, however, was the first victor to play from before the Mirror Portal, incorporating it into to the run. On the same day, another player would get a stroke of luck and become the fourth person in the world to do the 8 jumps of hell, while on a call with Ice Cave and Septagon 7, the player UFWM passed all 8 jumps without the mirror portal in only 1,000 attempts, fluking from the 5th jump. Okay. What? That's pretty good. This lucky completion further grew people's underappreciation for the run's difficulty, as no one would be able to match UFWM's extremely low attempt count going forward. We've now seen the progression of people doing the 8 jumps of hell and even being able to do it in low attempt counts. Some players, however, were not satisfied with just doing the previously considered impossible part. These players wanted to master it. Back in December of 2019, previous Victor Ice Cave had created a challenge that was so difficult it would take nearly 10 months to be beaten, and at the time of its creation, it would have been top 1 on the challenge list by far. This challenge is one you were all likely expecting to hear about, and it's known as Final Destination. Final Destination was the 8 jumps of hell, but twice in a row. Players years ago would have seen this as ridiculous, but now that some began to master this hellish gauntlet, this was the next step to total mastery. The creation of this challenge inspired a few talented players to try and attempt doing the part twice in a row themselves, as the challenge was not made public at this point. Ice Cave was still trying to verify his version, Final Destination, and had even gotten to the 12th jump. Titles such as 16 Jumps of Hell, Ever Since, and Final Destination became the ones that tested the determination of their verifiers, with all of them needing to grind tens of thousands of attempts to even make progress. Ten months later, in September of 2020, the seemingly magical achievement of doing the 8 jumps of hell twice in a row had been in the back of many players' minds. Earlier in the month, many had gotten seriously close to beating it, with some fails occurring at the 15th and 16th jumps. Невозможно? Что? Как? Я не ожидал. Вы понимаете, да? Вы понимаете? Finally, on September 19th, the player Sko99 did the run. Sko's achievement was not in a separate challenge intended for the challenge list, however, as he did it in two consecutive attempts on the copy of the level instead. Fuck my life. With this not being uploaded as a challenge with the big names attached, this player flew under the radar of most. A few days later, though, the original challenge that inspired the accomplishment was verified. On September 23rd, 2020, Paco became the first person to ever beat Final Destination by Ice Cave, putting to rest the legacy that 8 Jumps of Hell left behind. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. He beat it. Holy shit. Shortly after it was verified, Final Destination was placed at number 4 on the challenge list, as well as becoming the new Hardest Cube Challenge. This pushed the challenge into the spotlight for new players who wanted to beat the hardest challenges, and not just master Silent Club Step parts. It quickly also became a fan favorite challenge in the community. Just 4 days later, another player who had been trying to verify their own 8 Jumps of Hell X2 challenge became the first victor of the newly verified Final Destination. Arayu beat Final Destination on September 27th, just 4 days after the level was verified and placed on the list. Later on, on October 10th, 2020, the player Telepracity became its second victor. I just beat Final Destination. 
What's special about Teleprocity's victory is that he beat the level on 240Hz instead of 144Hz, where 144Hz had been used for every other completion thus far. This is important, as using 240Hz makes the level even more difficult due to a concept called frame alignment. With many of the jumps being 1-2 to two frames on 240Hz as well as on 144, the jumps will have an even shorter timing window on 240. By this point, Final Destination had been beaten on both of the FPS values allowed on the challenge list, as any other FPS values that weren't 144 or 240 were not allowed due to making the level easier. In the coming months, several more people had come to complete Final Destination, as it stayed on the challenge list as the hardest cube and timing challenge in the game. So far, Bako had the attempt record in the level, beating it in only 23,000 attempts. The next attempt record came on the 3rd of November, 2020, by the Intent Fox, who beat Final Destination in only 16,000 attempts. Just two weeks later, on November 17th, this record was broken once again by GMD Domi, who beat it in only 14,000 attempts. 11,000 of those attempts were playing on an FPS value not allowed for the list, so Domi re-beat the challenge in only 3,000 more attempts. This made GMD Domi one of the first people to have beaten Final Destination multiple times. While all the other records stood for only weeks at most, GMD Domi's attempt record for Final Destination stood for over half a year. However, on June 7th, 2021, Domi's record as the quickest person to beat Final Destination was smashed by Lukealyzer, who beat it in only 5,200 attempts. Luke made very quick work of the challenge, beating it in under half the attempts as the prior best ever attempt count. In September of 2021, the record was once again lowered to only 3,500 attempts by the player Moriarty the Cat. This is where the record stands today. With the attempt count on Final Destination being lowered so much, there was not much further one could improve by simply repeating the 8 gems of hell twice. With this in mind, there are two methods to further prove the mastery of this part. The first would be doing the original 8 gems of hell on a greater run than the original Silent Club step. Back in early June of 2020, before Final Destination was verified, the original Silent Club step received an update, which nerfed the infamous 8 jumps of hell into a more doable part. Many players quickly incorporated this run into full level runs, with the player Septagon 7 starting by doing 62 to 100, and then later improving it to 47 to 100. Later, other players improved it even further, with the players Hyperbola and Vision doing runs of 24 to 100 and even 14 to 100, passing the nerf to 8 jumps of hell all the way from before the drop. However, passing these nerf jumps is not an issue for the skill level of these players, and attempts were made to pass the 8 jumps of hell from earlier parts in the original unnerfed Silent Club step. The first people to attempt such a crazy feat were Septagon 7 and Hyperbola, with Hyperbola being the first person to make good progress. On March 8th, 2021, he would become the first ever person to do 62 to 100 on the fully unnerfed Silent Club step, passing both the infamous duel and the 8 jumps of hell in a single run. Both of these parts are considered incredibly difficult on their own, yet the difficulty of the 8 jumps are amplified by having to consistently pass another difficult part before even getting a chance at them. Yo, let's go, I did determination break. Holy frick. Let's game for the gamers. Two days later, on March 10th, 2021, Hyperbola would attempt to make progress at 48 to 100 on the unnerfed Silent Club step, a feat at the time that would have been the hardest challenge in the game. He passed the mini ship, the duel, and got 5 jumps into the 8 jumps of hell all the way from 48% before dying. This fail is currently the best progress anyone has ever made attempting this run. The other way to further prove one's mastery of 8 jumps of hell would be to increase the repetition. Instead of doing 8 jumps of hell or 16 jumps of hell, some players had gone even as far to play 24 jumps of hell, repeating the part 3 times in a row. This feat is much more difficult than doing it twice in a row, as each additional jump is added onto an already extremely difficult challenge. One can only wonder who would be crazy enough to do such a challenge. Well, in early April of 2021, two players had been steadily making progress on just that accomplishment. The players were Teleporosity and Thickboy Parker. Teleporosity and Thickboy Parker, who were both making progress in their own versions of Repeated Final Destination, with Teleporosity playing on a level that was beyond anyone's expectations of the human limit. Teleporosity was playing a level called Final Fantasy by Ice Cave, a level consisting of not 16, 24, but 32 jumps of hell. The infamous part has been repeated in a seemingly impossible challenge four times in a row. Both players mentioned were slowly making progress in their challenges, but eventually, on May 1st, 2021, Thickboy Parker would do the unbelievable. With over 200,000 attempts, he verified his challenge Extra Mile, the first ever 24 jumps of hell completion. Yes! Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god! I verified it. As someone who had originally taken 15,000 attempts to be Final Destination, Thickboy Parker's massive attempt count surely gets across the insane difficulty of this achievement, with many players considering it one of the hardest things done in the game at the time of its verification, and far harder than the hardest level on challenge lists at the time. Unfortunately, this challenge was never added to the challenge list, as one of the rules states that repeated challenges, even if redecorated, need the permission of the original creator to be added. 
However, Ice Cave had not allowed Extra Mile to be added to the list, as his level Final Fantasy was planned to be verified as well. The original creator of the part, Salient, had also been contacted and did not care if Final Destination stayed in the list instead of Extra Mile, as both him and Ice Cave would like to stay away from the controversy that adding Extra Mile would cause. By mid-2021, both Teleprocity and Thick Boy Parker had made progress on Final Fantasy, getting past the 24th jump multiple times. Several months later, it finally happened. Final Fantasy was verified by Teleprocity on December 22nd, 2021 in over 140,000 attempts. I just verified it. No. No way. What? Are you trolling? Uh, GG? No. Uh, just it. no way, dude. Kill yourself. You're not serious. What? The level was soon placed at number 2 on the challenge list, just behind VSC, with some people even believing it to be harder than VSC due to its skill set. Nearly a month later, on January 12th, 2022, Thick Boy Parker became the first victor of Final Fantasy, beating it in over 320,000 attempts. Oh my god. Holy shit. There's no way. I actually did it. The future is bright for the masters of this challenge, with upcoming things being unnerfed Silent Club Step 48 to 100, future victors of Final Fantasy, and potentially other challenges to use the 8 Chumps of Hell in the future. It's crazy to see how something can go from being seemingly impossible and taking years to even get a single victor, all the way to people doing the part four times in a row. With the stories of these players continuing even today, the legacy of an infamous part will go down in this game's history.